Welcome. Scott here. I will be covering on the upcoming Divine Summon Boards event, World of Illusions, Divine Leviathan. The featured units that are synergy for the event are Zack from Final Fantasy 7, Redia from Final Fantasy 4, Ramza from Final Fantasy Tactics and Trey from Final Fantasy Type 0. The event will mark the debut of Redia LD and Zack Spurst. All four characters will be getting their C90 Awakenings. Ramza and Redia are getting their reworks. Zack and Ramza's burst will be realizable. We will be fighting the Leviathan which has 30 million HP. Throughout the fight, it can summon two bubble material, which has 3 million HP each to assist it in the battle. The Leviathan is weak against thunder and absorb the water elemental attacks. It is immune to the freeze debuff. The turn requirement for the fight is 100 and the HP requirements is 15,000. Before I continue further, here is a small disclaimer clause for the video. The guide is written based on the time that the event was released for the Japanese version. Please do note that it is possible that the boss fight mechanics might differ when the actual event is released in global. Firstly, let's go through the Lavinia Plus Orb conditions. Like recent Divine Summon events, the orb isn't a fatal one. The countdown ability is Divine Tsunami is an AoE Brave plus HP attack that inflict the Water Sphere debuff for 2 turn. Water Sphere will prevent inflicted target to be unable to gain any Brave. The Lupania plus orb will activate at 2 HP thresholds, the 89% and 49% HP threshold. It will start off with a tight counter of 5. Every action you take in will downtick the orb by 1. The orb will be cancelled once the counter reaches 45. To uptick the orb you can need to fulfill either one of the two following conditions. 1. Player reduces brave damage received from a buff or special effect. It will uptick the orb by 1 for single target and 3 for group attacks, if you have 3 allies fielded. 2. Having a unit evade an attack will uptick the orb by 1. For first condition, you just need to deploy a damage mitigation tank. Some examples are Zack, Bash, Core, and Warrior of Light. For second condition, you need to have evasion utility. Redia and Leela are good options for party-wide evasion. Now let's proceed with some party setup recommendations. Recommended Calls Abilities To ensure that you are able to constantly break them, it is important to inflict defense down debuffs. Example of calls abilities that inflict defense down calls are Ferris, Titus, Jack, and Vanille. To speed up the fight, using HP damage up debuff calls like Karaseme, Gabrin, Lily Set, Fran, Maria, and Ignis are useful. Although a bit trickier to use, aura type HP damage up calls like Sid and Kumari are also viable. Most recently C90 units have Aura Enchant Call. You can use Dissidia DB Call Finder to find out more. As mentioned in the previous slide, you need to take an attack from boss with Brave Damage Reduction or evade the boss attack. For evasion, you can use Radia whose Blink Buff will allow the units to evade 100% for 3 turns. You can reduce Brave Damage with Brave Damage Reduction calls like Hope, Gladiolus, or Bash. It is easier to deploy a tank in the fight unless you are using Leela for the fight. Next, I will be covering units that will be useful to handle the fight mechanics. Like other Lufania Plus events, it is always recommended to bring supports for their aura and buffs. They are Garnet, Leela, Aiko, Ramza, Purim, Selfa, Agrias, Katesa, Queen, Ishtala, Bartz, Lena, Lyud, and Sarah. Garnet or Ramza BT plus support will help to trivialize the fight that you could finish the fight before you worry about the boss mechanics. Leela will make the boss attacks a non-issue. If you don't want to play to the orb, you can bring Aiko for the fight. At various HP thresholds, the Leviathan will be scripted to do HP attacks and its bubble allies will always trigger HP attacks on their turns, so you will be facing a barrage of HP attacks. Unless you are doing full evasion strategy involving Leela, damage mitigation is highly recommended. Options include Snow, Core, Gladiolus, Warrior of Light, Beatrix, Oren, Zack, Guy, Nine and Bash. 
For damage dealers, you can consider the following units, Zak, Machina, Lock, Galbez, Kepka, Zak, Titus, Ramza, Cloud, and Squall. Other than brave damage mitigation, you can also uptick the orb with evasion. Both Leela and Redia offer party-wide evasion, so they are the premium units if you are deploying the evasion strategy for the fight. Other evasion options are Shadow, Prompto, Edward, Kane, and A. The Leviathan can inflict a slew of debuffs. Having a debuff evasion or debuff cleansing utility will allows you to focus on taking the boss attacks. Debuff evasion options are Apma, Ignis, Lena, Selfie and Aerith. For debuff cleansing, you can bring Sid Reigns, Bald Here, Pain, Yuna, Pernello, and Sidor. On the screen, you will see a timeline showing the HP thresholds triggers that you need to watch out for. Like the previous summon board Lavinia, you will face a barrage of scripted HP attacks at the following HP thresholds, 89%, 69%, 49%, and 29%. At those thresholds, Leviathan will use its recast ability Divine Tsunami Plus. After the recast ability is used, Leviathan will follow up a resist fail where boss will gain a pseudo immunity to break where its party brave cannot fall below 1% of their max brave. The resist fail will last for 5 turns. When it is active, you will see a puddle of water beneath Leviathan. When the Lufania orb is active, there will an auto turn delay effect where your party's next turn will be delayed by after every action taken. At the 89%, 49%, and 29% HP thresholds, it will summon two bubble enemies which has 3 million HP each to the battlefield. They will constantly use Flash Flood which is an AoE Brave plus HP attack that could inflict a 50% HP damage reduction debuff for three turns. Lastly, make sure you give the boss chance to act or tank their attack with Brave damage reduction buffs or effect. Failure to do so may result you facing its countdown ability Divine Tsunami which is an AoE Brave plus HP attacks that could inflict a Water Sphere debuff that nullifies Brave gains. Unless you are going for the full evasion strategy with Leela, bringing a damage mitigation unit is how most JP players use to handle the fight. The featured unit Zak who is a great offensive tank and he will help a lot for the fight. As long as you are able to mitigate the HP attacks, this fight isn't too difficult compared to previous two Divine Summon Lufania events. Now let's proceed with the boss mechanics proper. Like the previous Lufania plus fights, the boss will gain big stats boosts, brave damage, and brave gain reduction auras when you deplete their HP to a certain threshold. The thresholds trigger for this fight is at the start of the fight and 49% HP thresholds. At the start of the fight, it will boost its defense stats by 50%. At 49% HP threshold, it will further boost its defense stats to 100%. The maximum brave damage reduction auras is 80%. The maximum brave gain reduction auras are 70%. To handle the defense stats boost, you can inflict defense down calls. To handle the brave gain and brave damage reduction auras, you can use Brave Damage Up debuffs like Jack, Sephiroth, or deploy a support with Brave Damage Up like Lena. Rem is one of the rare supports that provide Brave Gain Up. For every 10 turns it take, the Leviathan can buff its magic attack. You will see a prompt attack grown more powerful when it triggers. First of all, let's talk more about its recast ability and countdown ability. Leviathan will take 3 to 4 turns to build up its recast gauge. The recast ability Divine Tsunami Plus is an AoE Brave plus HP attack. Upon using it, Leviathan will gain a frame buff called Leviathan Scales and applies the Whirlpool field. The effects of those status will reduce your party speed and turn rate while boosting its own defense and speed. After using the recast ability, Leviathan will activate Resist Veil for 5 turns where a puddle of water will appear underneath Leviathan. As long as it is Resist Veil will cause the Leviathan's party brave to be maintained at 1% of its max brave. Thus, Leviathan and its party will gain a pseudo-break immunity effect. 
The countdown ability Divine Tsunami is an AoE Brave plus HP attack where it will inflict the Water Sphere debuff for two turns. This frame debuff will prevent any inflicted targets gaining any Brave. Upon using this ability, the Lufania Orb will reset back to 5. Leviathan will be scripted to use the recast ability at the following HP thresholds, 89%, 69%, 49%, and 29% HP threshold. So do make sure your evasion or brave damage mitigation are up when you are threading towards those thresholds. On this slide, let's talk more about the battlefield conditions. When the Lufania Orb is activated, there will be a field effect applied. The field effect will cause every unit that acts to have their following turns delayed by two. The field effect will only be removed when the orb is dispelled. To dispel the orb, you need to build up the orb counter to 45. To do so, you can either do it with brave damage reduction or evading. I have listed down the units that offers brave damage reduction. As mentioned earlier, after every recast ability used, Leviathan will use Resist Veil which prevents its Brave from dropping below 1% of its max Brave. The Resist Veil will be active for 5 turns and will grant Leviathan a pseudo break immunity effect. Now let's focus on the Leviathan's partner in crime. The Bubble Material. The Leviathan can summon 2 bubbles to the battlefield at the following HP thresholds, 89%, 49%, and 29%. Each bubble has 3 million HP each. They are immune to launch and freeze debuff and they are weak against thunder. For every turn they take, they will use Flash Flood which is an AoE Brave plus HP attack. It will inflict 3 turn 50% HP damage down debuff. Debuffs Cleansing and Debuff Evasion will be very useful here to handle the debuffs. If you are going with 2 BT auras, you can actually ignore the effect from the debuff. To minimize the onslaught from the HP attacks from the bubble, it is best to finish them off ASAP once they are summoned. If you pass to the next HP summon threshold while they are alive, it is most likely Leviathan will heal them back to full health. I have come to the last slide of the guide. Let's talk briefly of the two common approaches that people use to handle the fight. The first approach is the tanking approach or eat whatever Leviathan and its bubble throw at your party. Throughout the fight, you can embrace a lot of HP attacks. Having a AoE damage mitigation will make the fight a lot of easier, so you can just focus on attacking Leviathan. Tanks are great units to deploy here. Zack, Warrior of Light and Bash are the premium defensive options for the fight. You can deploy counter units like Orin, Gladio, or Beatrix but make sure you have lots of healing to ensure your party HP is always in a safe zone. The other approach is the evasion approach. The new featured LD unit Redia has party wide evasion with the blink debuff from her LD. The buff will allow your party to dodge incoming HP attacks for 3 buffs turn. Despite being a water enchanter, she can inflict a framed imperil debuff that will bypass water elemental absorption. She is a great option to have if you have managed to have her build up. The other option is Leela who deals thunder elemental weakness damage and her evasion will also counter and heals the party. Leela will make the fight easier to handle and all you need to do is to ensure all her buffs are maintained while your other party members just focus on damaging Leviathan. Other than the two, you can also choose to bring other evasion options that I have listed on the screen. Before I end the briefing, here is some important notes to take note of the fight. HP silence could stop the HP attacks but it could result the countdown ability to be triggered as you cannot uptick the orb via evading or brave damage mitigation. Leviathan and its bubbles can inflict lots of debuffs. Debuff evasion is very useful here but it is not mandatory. Avoid bring units that relies on break for their damage, example Arjet, Noel, Arthen, or Cloud of Darkness, as Leviathan and the Bubbles will gain break immunity when the resist veil is active. The HP requirements is only 15,000. Bring burst healer or having constant HP healing is important to ensure you will meet the requirements. We have come to the end of the boss guide. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please do give the video a like. 
please do subscribe to my channel for future similar content. Bye.